you may know, yesterday it was my birthday. So, basically, um, I'm going to going to be um, doing painting higher with this canvas that I got on my birthday. It's a very old canvas, a very old canvas. And I'm going to start with just this black permanent marker. I'm going to be using the thick end. And I'm just going to be seeing because how this canvas absorbs the thing by just doing a few a few random a ran, few random lines like that. Now, as you can see, it doesn't absorb it very well. So I'm going to find out where the hell I put the lid. Oh my god, this happens like every day. It'll be in here, it'll just be hiding from me. Are you in there, lid? There it is. Okay. So obviously, that isn't going to work. So what I will do instead is just get some, some black paint in this tube and get um, one of my little brushes. Not that brush. Not that brush. Um, I don't know where my really little brush is, so I'm just gonna use this this little brush here, and I'm simply going to squeeze it. Well, a lot of this is just dry already. Well, I'm just on here, so I'm just going to squeeze it slightly and just sort of dip the dip the brush on it like that like that and just sort of paint some random random little squadgy squadgy spingle bongy bits on there and that brush is rubbish which is what I assumed it would be and I didn't prepare my brushes before this so it's very So that's going to happen, but yeah, we'll just get some of it out onto the canvas like that. Um, and I'll just get this very, very, very dry brush and just sort of stab it on my legs so it becomes soft. There we go, like that, and uh, dip it in the water so it absorbs some of that. And then just sort of paint. Paint on it like this. And you just want to make some random shit. Just think of me as the Bob Ross of abstract. So what you do is get all this. And you do some fancy lines. Like this. And like that. So I'll stand on this side. And this is just one technique that I use is just to put the pen on the canvas and then move it around. So I'm going to um, open up this big thing of paint and if that magenta doesn't fall over, it's rose but whatever. Uh, I'll just... Ooh. I'll just get some of this nice, ha. some of this na nice Prussian blue, which it will look black on camera, but it ain't. And just sort of um, I don't know if you can tell the difference between that. But you know, it would be fine. And you just sort of like mix that into it, like. Can you see the difference now? Probably not. But that light is probably actually obscuring your view, but so am I, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Okay. 
something like this and you just want sort of carelessly splat bits around without a care in the world and you just want to make lots, make sure your easel doesn't fall if you have an easel you might not have an easel but i got this for christmas which helps getting it for free well i'm saying it will have been paid for but i didn't have to pay for it which is the important thing and you just want to do stuff like I keep saying you just wanna, but you might not wanna. But if you do wanna, you will wanna. Okay, and then I put quite a few dark colours on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna allow that just to soak in the water there, and I'm gonna get some bright colours now. I'm trying to pick one I haven't used much of. I haven't used much of this blue here. I don't think I've used any of this, this turquoise, turquoise blue. And you just want to, did it again, you just want to do stuff like this. I assume you can see that, yeah you can. Okay. okay. And what, what, what you can do, what I like to do, is you want to get, this hasn't been washed, but you want to get one of these like plastic kind of scrapers that you can use to scrape, scrape the paint along. It still has some on it, but that's irrelevant and you can just sort of like use it like this to scrape the pen along I really want to make sure you can see it I should probably have to move the camera wait a second <sighs> You can kind of kind of see it. Um, even though it's a bit low down, I'll <clears throat> can you? Ah, so you're missing about bottom fifth of the camera camera which I really want to change. There we go. That'll do. Um, so then. You can probably see it a bit better now. I'm um, getting this scraper and I'm just sort of scraping the pen along. Along. Like that. And sometimes it gets, it gets all over gets all over my hands, but I don't care. I just wipe it on my clothes because I have clothes. I've used all clothes, but these were my brothers actually. But you just want to get stuff like. Like this. What I see of it. Abstract art is meant to be fun. Right, so you just have fun onto the canvas. Like this. And now that this brush is nice and sort of softened from being in there for ages, we'll put on a colour that kind of contrasts with the blue. So this is a kind of mix between green and blue. So why not have a mix between red and purple, which makes, as you know, pink. So this is rose, rose pink, which is kind of the opposite of this turquoise kind of colour. And as I said before, you'll just want to maybe just dot it on in the places where there's white. And maybe just sort of like in the middle there. There we go, and then we get our lovely brush, and we can just sort of move that, move that around like this there. And you may want to paint paint the sides. I don't really bother that much. But I think it's what's in the middle of the canvas that's important mm. and that didn't really work as well as I'd hoped it would which is, that's, that's fine and if you get so, I don't even, I don't think I have any um, don't think I have any tissue paper, so I will be right back with some more things. 
Okay, hello. We are, we are back. I've just added a little bit of um this uh, pink here. It's called iridescent pink, which means it's like it's shiny. And I've cleaned the brush. Well, I've, I I say cleaned. I've um I've wet the brushes and cleaned all the other paint off. So now I can I can do stuff like this. Good, that's what we, oh. Nothing. Crap. Got some paint on my Sontar and Spaceship. Okay, I'll uh, be more careful from now on. Um, but yeah, you just want to kind of just sort of smear it about like this. Get it covered up all the white on the canvas. If you want to get some, get some water on there because it spreads it out easier that way. Quite good so far, I think you will be able to see it also just so you know those. Yeah, I should probably um, use a special piece of paper I designed. <laughs> Hello. I just dropped my camera over. Which is bound to happen really when you think about it. And it was very painful because it hit my finger. I suppose that's what they mean when they say the straw that brought the camel's back. Placing that tiny little piece of paper on there. Decided to um, knock over the entire thing. Wasn't the nicest. And why is it? Are you kidding?